So I'm here on a Sunday as usual. My sister-in-law is actually helping me out. We're organizing and doing shit, right? We're setting the shop up. We're tweaking the place. You know, it's just gotten out of hand. I'm so overwhelmed with work. There's just so many loose ends. You gotta be in here on a Sunday to tighten it up. So we're talking about this new breed of person that's out there. And sorry if I'm insulting you when I talk about you, but you're out there working in the workforce and we have to depend on you. And the most basic of things boggle you. We're talking about the person who is baffled by the complexities of a can opener. We're talking about the person who you call for help because it's your area to help and you ask them to Google the problem and figure it out on your own. And you know, it's sad, but we're, we're, we're softening the world to a point where if you say the wrong thing to someone in certain corporate areas, you're gonna get in trouble. Now, I'm the biggest account my part supplier has, and I recently left my salesman because he was just got really bad, really bad. So I was given another guy, and I sent him a text, and it said, hey, blah, blah, blah is effing up. And I spelled out the word effing, but I spelled, you know, the real word. Um, are you ready to take my account over? Do you want, you know, my account? He didn't respond to me. A week went by. His superior calls me. Stop texting so-and-so. I said, why? What happened? You used the F word. I said, really? The F word? That's what made this idiot not want the biggest account in the whole chain using the F word. So... I messaged him back. I said, I'm sorry for insulting you. I didn't know it was gonna be that much of a problem. And if I knew, I wouldn't have used it. But thank you for nipping it in the bud in the beginning because you never would have lasted with me a couple of days anyway. So let me move on. But with that said, I found another place that deals with what I deal with. And when they found out I was upset with that place, they set me up on a pay scale that made sense and they deliver every hour. So. They're losing up to 30 grand a month in parts right now because of the F word thing with this uber woke idiot who don't want to hear the F word. So what I'm trying to tell you people out there, you young people who are brought up on a cell phone, the barnacles on the ass of progress, if you will, the people who can't move a box out of your way to walk in a straight line, the people who robotically just go through motions all day not getting anything accomplished, collecting a check, Get your head out of your ass. Give a shit. Try harder. Stop feeling bad for yourself. Because you know what? You suck. Yes, I'm telling you. Maybe your parents didn't tell you. Maybe your boss doesn't tell you. But I'm telling you, you suck. And you need to get your shit together. So how about going to work tomorrow with a better outlook on the job? How about trying to succeed? Trying to accomplish? Trying to do shit to get shit done? How about giving a shit? That's all I got to say. Give a shit.